everyone. Welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Amechi Blast's iPub denies being beaten and reveals what happened in Madrid, Spain. Nigeria's Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, has dismissed claims that were made by the indigenous people of Biafra that they assaulted him in Madrid, Spain. IPOB had claimed responsibility for the attack, stating that they won't hesitate to humiliate others. However, Amechi, in a statement on Saturday, said, We read with utter disgust and disdain the sickening propagandist lies credited to one Ima Powerful, who claims to be the spokesman of the indigenous people of Biafra, that IPOB members in Madrid, Spain, beat physically assaulted the Minister of Transportation, Right Honorable Chibike Rotimi Ambechi. That is not true. We must clarify that in the incident of the attack yesterday on the minister in Madrid, where Ambechi was part of the official Nigerian government delegation to the United Nations Climate Change Conference, IPOP members did not beat, physically assault, or cause any bodily harm to the Honorable Minister. As they charged towards and at the minister during the attack, it was apparent that their plan was to beat, quoting him a powerful, beat him, hurt him, cause bodily harm, or even do worse. But their violent evil plot failed woefully due to the dexterity of Amechi to resist them, protect and defend them, and the prompt intervention of the Spanish police who repealed repelled the motley crowd of misguided attacks. Even the video circulated online by the attackers confirmed this much. Everyone could clearly hear one of them shouting, we didn't get him, expressing his frustrations on their inability to get and beat the minister. The statement further commended the Spanish police in Madrid for their timely intervention to protect Amechi and their investigation of the attack and attempt on the life of the Honorable Minister in Spanish territory. The Honorable Minister of Transportation is immensely grateful to all for the outpour of love, support and prayers. He acknowledges God's hand in the foiling of the attack and reassures all and sundry that he is well, on halt and okay, and will continue to dedicate himself in service to God, Nigeria and humanity. All right, listeners, you've heard the news. Um, Amechi has come out to deny the fact that he was attacked. He said there was an attempt, but he was not gotten, that he was not beaten, claiming that um, the IPOB members who claim to have gotten him or beaten him uh, were telling lies. Well, the, whether it's true or not that he was beaten, he was attacked, the fact remains that there was an incident that happened that he was involved and um, even if he was gotten or not gotten, that is not the case. The issue there is the fact that there was an incident that happened involving himself and the IPOP members. And the IPOP members has, have now promised that others have been watched and same, um, same, same treatments will be meted to some others when they come to... Uh, or would they visit other parts of the country uh, our, abroad, especially those of the uh, Igbo descent? Well, it is not. It is not something that um, we. It is not something that we can really, really um, say much about because we were not there present. But those that were there present, you know, will be able to tell us if truly he was gotten or not. Because you know, some people even when they. When they, when they were actually beaten and it was not captured 
probably clearly on video, they can come out to deny that they were not beaten. You get a point because of um, the outcry, because of the image, because of what people will say, what people will think when the uh, footage gets circulated. So I have not come across the footage yet or to be able to review. But from what they have said in the news, and they said he was not, he was not beaten, he was not gotten, you know, but there was an attempt which um, with the help of the Spanish police, you know, they were unable to uh, beat him. Well, if that is true or not. That is not even the issue. The issue was that there was an incident that happened. Because if these people are doing well, such incidents should not be happening. So they need to go back to the drawing board, put themselves in order, put their house in order, do what would give Nigeria and Nigerians a good image outside the country. They should make Nigerians proud. You know, So many people are planning to leave the country because of all these issues. So why would those outside the country not make attempt? Because majority of them cannot even come back. And majority of, of them have vowed not to even come back to Nigeria because of all what our politicians and those in office are doing. You know, Nigeria, you know, no light, no good roads. Every roads are bad. There's no single road in Nigeria that you can claim to say is good. All the roads are bad. Standard of living so high. Standard of living so worse. You know, people cannot even feed three times a, a day uh, without um, having to bother where the meal will come from. All these issues are some of the things that are propelling Nigerians abroad, you know, to even go outside, go outside their own comfort, to take steps that would, you know, see how they can contribute their own quota to ensure that our leaders are listening. Do they have to wait for our Nigerians abroad to attack them before they will know that they ought to do what is right? It is so, so, so unimaginable for our leaders to continue to, to, to continue to treat Nigerians in this particular way, with disdain. Majority of them, their children are abroad. Majority of them, their children don't eat what other Nigerians eat. Majority of them, they live in big houses, drive cars. Majority of them, they, 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 they school abroad. How many Nigerians can actually afford to school abroad presently? These are some of the challenges that Nigerians are facing. Nigeria has become the poverty capital in the world. How come? It's not supposed to be. We have the resources. We have all what it takes. Our politicians need to go back to the drawing board. If they cannot do it, they should resign and let people who have clear vision on how to make Nigeria better step into the, into the office and do what needs to be done. Younger generations are coming. We just hope they will not be suffering much more than we are suffering right now. Well, can you drop by the comment section and let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story? It's so unfortunate that Nigeria is, finds herself in this particular situation. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe and also share the news so that many people can get to know what is happening in the country as we aim to continue to bring you information and continue to bring you uh, news as they happen from around the world. Thank you and God bless you.